Hey guys, just like to share a quick preview of the Teensy Eurorack Shield circuit boards I've been working on. I've run out of parts, so while I'm waiting for them to arrive, I thought I'd try and make a quick intro video. So here we have the schematic of the main board at version 1.7. In the first sheet, we have GPIO voltage protection circuits, we have a TNC microcontroller, and a PCA9536 GPIO IC. In the second sheet, we have the 16 pin Eurorack power connector, some bypass capacitors, a 5 volt regulator, and some jumper settings to select the external 5 volt V in source, and for the repurposed Eurorack power connector, UART pins, which we'll discuss in another video. In the third sheet, we have pin header connections to the breakout board. In the fourth sheet, we have the CS4448 audio codec. It's uh, passive input filters and passive output filters. Get some configuration pins here. using I squared S as a control interface, connections to the microcontroller. Some tantalum capacitors. In the PCB view, we can see the main board this is at the top side. bottom side switching to the schematic sheet of the breakout board we've got an Arduino microcontroller it's a Sam D21 chip it's got a programming port crystal USB connections RGB LED encoders some potentiometers connection to the main board via UART. On the second schematic sheet, we've got a regulator and the power connections for the Arduino. In the third sheet, we've got some connectors. In the fourth sheet, we've got some more connectors. We've got the pin headers, connections to the main board, the SD card connections, the SD uh, the TFT display connections. This is the AD7606 chip. We've got some configuration pins here using um, SPI protocol. Got a couple of connections to the microcontroller. So the AD ref select is used to um, select the reference voltage. So we've got it pulled high to three volts. So that means we're using the internal voltage reference. We've got a common ground for the inputs. This is the digital to analog IC. It's using SPI. There's a two and a half volt regulator uh, used as a voltage reference. Here we have the MIDI circuitry input and output. Switching to the PCB view of the breakout board, that's the top view here you can see. And this is the bottom side of the board. And this is how the board looks in KiCad 3D view. And this is how the two boards should look assembled. 
and that's about all for now folks um so i will leave you with a time lapse of um, me assembling the breakout board as you'll see it's um incomplete because i've uh, not got any ad7606 parts left so i've kind of gone ahead and just started without it that's it for now cheers guys if you got any comments just uh, leave them in the comment section below thanks